but I'm not concerned with the source of the calories. Like just yesterday, I had two spicy chicken sandwiches from Wendy's as the meal like three hours or no, like two and a half hours before the workout. And I was talking to my one friend and he was like, oh, you're already having cheat meals? But I don't see it as a cheat meal. It's not like, <laughs> how am I cheating? At the end of the day, I still had my 2,500 calories. That's the amount of calories I'm trying to eat so I can lose body fat. And I was in my, you know, relative macro arrangement. So here's where I'm forced to disagree with Sam Solek. I mean, Sam's an awesome individual and I really like his videos. But if you're a normal person and you're natural, you've got to understand that when you eat junk food, it tanks your testosterone levels. Now, if you're trying to lose body fat and I'm assuming maintain muscle, you want to have as much testosterone in your body as possible. So you want to eat foods such as whole eggs, red meat, fish, for example, salmon or tilapia, vegetables, nuts, uh, peanut butter, almond butter, etc. I'm not accusing Sam of being on steroids, but it's very important you understand when you're taking extravenous testosterone, the amount of testosterone levels in your body remains the same regardless of what you eat. This is why you'll see a lot of uh, fitness influencers doing food challenges and still maintain their physique. If you were to picture the average fast food eater, this is pretty much what they would look like for a specific reason, because these foods are bad for your hormones.